Hello everyone and thanks very much for joining me on Dean the Vaping Biker and today we've got another mech mod review which I'm very very happy about indeed. This one is 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 special. It is special because not because of a whizzy button or anything like that but because it's British made and particularly where it comes from in Britain. This one is the Mirage mech mod and it comes from uh, Sheffield in the UK which is the home of steel. I'm going to give you a little bit of a history lesson as I talk you through the up close as well so I apologize if that bores anyone but I think it's pretty important to be aware of that um, so this is why it excites me because we don't often see things like mechs come out of the UK and especially mechs that are good quality that are well made and that perform really really well um, this one does come with the atomizer as well so it's a, it's a sort of an all-in kit however you can use it separately if you so wish no point in me taking that off now because we're gonna see it in the up close don't know what I'm doing right <laughs> let's have a little vape first shall we You can see it performs like a beast. It really, really does. It's nice and cloudy, nice and powerful. So let's, before we do any more, let's go up close so we can check out this bad boy with a bit of a different up close. I'm kind of doing a voiceover bit of action on this one just to tell you a little bit of information as well. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let me know in the comments. Right, come on then. Right, so here we are with the packaging. Comes in this nice little tin with the Mirage logo on the top, and inside we've got a little form that tells us the uh, certificate of authenticity with the serial number and a signature to say that it's been signed off. And inside there we've got the mod and a little coin to undo things. We'll have a look at those in greater detail. Now, just like Detroit has a special place in the hearts of car enthusiasts in the States, um, since Henry Ford got in there in the early 1900s, Sheffield's been at the beating heart of steel for the UK for much longer. Um, Steel's been around since about the 14th century but Sheffield's kind of made it all happen as we know it now. A guy called Benjamin Huntsman in 1740 developed something called the crucible technique and during that time was able to t make steel purer and stronger than ever before um, and then a chap called Harry Brearley invented stainless steel also in Sheffield in about 1912 so you can imagine where we'd be if that invention hadn't taken place but all of that's been going on in Sheffield um, that's why they're very proud to emblazon it on the button as you see there um, and on the uh, and on the RDA that we'll see in a bit as well. Um, the threads to unscrew it super smooth everyone's a winner on that one you can see that it's nice and clean on the inside now you've got a nice and easy button there a quick rotation 90 degrees means that you'll be able to uh, pull that out and there is a little stopper on the spring so the spring doesn't go flying everywhere which is great super easy to pop back in again just clicks into place and everyone's a winner you can take out the o-ring um, while you're cleaning that's there obviously to uh, to give a little bit of a buffer zone for the negative portion of the battery and for the battery to sit on uh, nice and safely but this once again is just showing how those little tabs kind of go into those little holes which makes it just an easy easy bit of kit to use to be honest with you um now then you can see the threading on the inside of the tube there nice and smooth nice and clean nice and easy to keep smooth and clean as well um, but if we take the RDA off we can have a little look at what's going on on the top of the tube once again we've got Mirage going on there with the serial number and a little logo kicking over on the corner there or on the side. Sheffield, England, once again. Now, I mean, it's uh, there's a guy called Fred Pickering um, invented or carried on work on steel in the 60s, 70s and 80s, and that actually made us have all the high-strength alloys that we have now. Um, and it's pretty interesting on that fact because that all happened in Sheffield as well. So Sheffield really is the kind of the the the, the hub of um, of steel making really, and and made it what it is today. Um, but we've had a look a little look at the air holes there. Plenty of air holes, nice and easy to close up. Now we're looking at the deck. Um, it's a four poster or a three poster, four holes, um, a non-spinning center pin, which makes things nice and easy. Um, 
the holes could be a little bit bigger in those posts though in my opinion but otherwise it's machined really really well those o-rings holding that top cap on nice and snugly now once again getting that uh, getting that button back in there super easy and you can use your coin just to uh, just to tie it up as well uh, another useless fact if you like your knives um, Sheffield in the UK is famous for their knives it's always had high quality steel and the excellent craftsmanship for some pretty top quality stuff and he's actually got a first mention of a Sheffield knife in the Canterbury Tales by Chaucer back in 1397. Anyway, that is the overall look at the uh, Mirage Mech Mod. Hope you enjoyed a little history lesson along the way there and let's go back up top and have a vape. Okay, so that was a little bit of a different up close. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I managed to get the the kind of the uh, the, the the talking right, <laughs> the voiceover. That's the word I was going for. Anyway. Um, so this Mirage Mech mod, it's not a cheap one to be fair, but it is all UK made, UK machined and uh, and and sort of hand finished and all that sort of malarkey. So you're not going to expect it to be. Plus, don't forget, you do get the mod and the RDA in there as well. Now, a couple of little points to uh, say about this one. First of all, granted, the button isn't anything we haven't seen sort of very, very similar to in the past. And that's absolutely fine. It works and it works very, very well. Obviously, I gave this a damn good clean up for the up close so you could get a really good sort of show of it if you like. Um but the button does work well and I found that the more use you give it the more the, the smoother it becomes as well so uh, there can be a little bit of a stickage going on to start with but once you use it a little bit then it works wonderfully well so I'm very very happy with that now the amount of airflow you've got open here I've got pretty much full bore I've got everything bar kind of uh, one hole open I'm just going to close that so I've got three holes basically um, what I've put in here for the moment since the up close there uh, for those of you that are interested is I've got a parallel 26 gauge um, so two wires in parallel on each side 26 gauge about seven wraps something like that um, and uh, it's coming out at 0 0.0 uh, sorry, no, it's not. 0 0.16. And that's, for me, that's more, I'm more than happy with that. Obviously, I'm using good batteries for this as well. And so, as always, if you're unsure about battery safety, please check out the video that I'll link to at the end and I'll put on my end screen uh, with a discussion with battery mooch there. But, um, yeah, the RDA. The RDA is nice and airy. If, if there's anything, I would say that um, I'd like the post holes to be a little bit bigger. You've got a fair amount of real estate in there that you can make those holes nice and big. Uh, so I'd like to see those a little bit on the larger side, just for some of the sort of funkier builds. However, um, as far as it goes, more than happy. Now then, when it comes to this drip tip, am I going to be able to get the bag out? Yes, I am. What I didn't show you in the up close is it's a, it's a friction fit um, drip, well it's not a friction fit because what is in there is the uh, is a little o-ring going on in there I don't know if you can see that and so if you have something like a Kennedy is it is the goon the same size as the Kennedy drip tip wise um, oops sorry about that headphone users that fits in there quite nicely I'm not going to push that down because what I am going to do is I've got this drip tip that was made by Biggs Tips and uh, it does I think that makes it look the tits on there doesn't it that looks really quite cool it's comfy as you like as well so let's just have a little toot and I have closed the holes down so I've only got three open aside. Obviously, with a little bit less airflow, that means that that really does push that flavour through. Um, by the way, I'm using Acacia from uh, from Mirage as well in there at the moment. It's kind of a banana, roasted banana-y bread caramel thing, I think. But uh, it's quite subtle on the banana. It's not an overpowering banana. Anyway, that's by the by. We're looking at the Mirage. Oh, by the way, Mrs. Biker is going to have another juice review um, of some Mirage juices coming up maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um probably tomorrow actually um, but uh, but yeah so the RDA a little bit bigger holes uh, would be nice but um, in the post but otherwise the fact that you can get um, your Kennedy style tips in here which means if you do have any custom made ones or anything like that then you're on a winner I am I'm, I love it I think it's I, it's just really well thought out you've got the jewel o-rings at the bottom that offer a really good level of security um, 
you've got a decent amount of deck space a nice deep juice well there as well if you so want it it's not the deepest but it's certainly not bad um, and overall size wise I think it looks quite nice as well if I compare it to something like the Rogue I haven't got the drip tip pressed down on the Rogue but it's about the same height as the Rogue um, depending on where you have the button of course maybe a tad longer but not very much at all now then for stainless steel obviously um, you know, as I said in the up close, stainless steel is very, very important to Sheffield. It, it has a huge amount of history there. So it's great to see a nice solid mod. What I didn't do is uh, tell you the width, did I? Useless. Tell you. <laughs> Professional reviewers, eh? Um, 24. 24 mil in width. There we go. So if you've got any 24 mil RDOs that you want to use on here as well, you can. Um, and everyone's a winner. But I am more than happy with the one that comes on here. Plus, I like the fact that it's all matchy-matchy. Uh, it would have been nice, maybe, to have a sort of a seamless thing going on. However, um, you know, the, 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 the seams that are going on between the RDA and the, uh, and the mod, I'm perfectly happy with that. I really like the engraving going down here it's nice and heavy it's nice and deep um, and I do like the fact that you've got venting down the bottom there as well so if you do want to use uh, your battery upside down then you certainly can do as long as please make sure that the battery um, uh, wrap is in really good condition if there's any nicks in it never ever do that that's a really bad idea so anyway I'm gonna have another little vape Really nice and airy. Just going to close that. I'm going to close two holes. There you go. That's the kitty. For those coils, two holes closed, meaning four holes are open at the six, and I am a happy camper. Right then, so price. As I mentioned, the price is not cheap, however. Um, you know, if, if mods are your thing, especially if you're from the UK and you like a little bit of history as well, that's always good. Um, it coming through the setup as a whole in the case with the little coin to undo things and everything else, um, 164.95. That's 164.95. Is it worth it? Um, for a lot of mods, I would say no, but uh, particularly because this is made in the UK, I can understand where the where the cost has come from. Uh, then I would say yes, yes, I do think it is. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's just a great. It's quite heavy because it's all stainless steel. Obviously, it's quite chunky. That brushed finish on it is really really nice. Actually, um, you don't see kind of a whole sort of. You don't see the the scorching um, of the of the sort of the brush as it, it's giving it the finish. Um, it's just that kind of nice matte stainless finish. So all in all, I think this is a great first outing for Mirage. What I'd like to see in a V2 maybe if they're going to come up with one is bigger post holes in the RDA. Um, I would like to see, um, I don't really know, I don't think there's a great deal else I could, maybe maybe do something a little bit funkier with the button. Um, now we're starting to see sort of non-sprung buttons, that would be kind of nice in a V2. However, for what it is, it's simple, it's easy to clean and it works. And it works very, very well as well. So yeah, I'm more than happy with it. It performs, as I say. Um, I've had no hot button issues. I've had no um, no sort of mechanical issues of any kind. Um, the deck's easy to build on. I don't really think there's a great deal else I can tell you, really. Why have I used 26 gauge, by the way? Um, just for ramp up time. So if I press the button um, now, we're kind of firing pretty much straight off the bat. So um, so that's the reason I went for the for the 26 gauge because it's it's quite a funky little thing. Uh, it's 26 gauge stainless as well for anyone that uh, that wonders. Just realised I've used stainless wire on a stainless mod. Stainless, matchy matchy. Right. <laughs> I just looked at my little monitor there to see if I was topping out. This juice is rather nice as well. Anyway, not a great deal else I can tell you about that, guys. It's a good, solid performing mech mod from the UK that, uh, especially if you're a collector and all that sort of stuff, then it's certainly worth having in your arsenal. Um, but if you just want a solid performing mech mod, then I don't know if they're going to be selling the mechs and the RDA separately. Um, they, The whole thing is going to be released at the end of this month. So, uh, yeah. 
there we go can't tell you any more than that guys and girls but i think it's a good solid performer and i think it looks the tits as well so anyway thanks very much for watching i've been dean the vaping biker this has been the mechanical mod from mirage i'll leave all the links down below as per usual thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time have it large!